Um, the state of California should enforce uh, oops, more regulations on licensed gun dealer businesses to decrease corruption. Uh, this will be done through increased inventory checks, more background checks, and on firearm employees and ammunition records keeping. Um, the direct and indirect costs of gun violence in the U.S. alone have estimated approximately 100 billion annually. Firearms manufacturers typically market their products through a network of licensed distributors and dealers before a gun is sold to an individual buyer. Uh, virtually every firearm is used to commit a homicide other than the violent crime it was purchased from a dealer and by someone deemed illegally eligible. Um, federal law requires firearms dealers to obtain a license from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, <coughs> Firearm, and Explosives, ATF, although resource limitations prevent ATF from properly overseeing all licensees. Any person who sells, transfers, or loans firearms in California must also be licensed by personal law. Um, ATF is a unique law enforcement agency in the Department of Justice uh, that projects our, protects our communities from violent criminals, criminal organi organizations, the legal use of trafficking of firearms, um, and the storage of explosives, acts of arson, bombings, acts of terrorism, etc. To move on to my um, secondary claim one, which is inventory checks do not occur as often as necessary. Um, annual inventory checks for most of businesses are routine, not a burdensome regulation. Many responsible gun dealers, including nation's largest Walmart, have instituted strict inventory controls and audits, but every year tens of thousands of guns from go missing from inventories of licensed gun dealers, many from a small <coughs> fraction of rogue dealers. During compliance, Compliance um, inspections conducted in the fiscal year of 2011, ATF investigators identified 177,500 unaccounted firearms, which FFLs could not locate in inventory or account for by sale in other dis disposition. By working with industry members, IOS has <coughs> reduced this number to about 18,500 accounted firearm firearms. Um, in the Public Affairs Division, division, it was written that the purpose of the inspection of the, the, the inspection program is to educate the licensee about the regulatory responsibilities and evaluate the level of compliance. Compliance inspections also serve to protect the public in that in, in every way they promote the voluntary internal controls to prevent and detect diversion of firearms from lawful commerce to illegal market. Um, ATF agents first conducted uh, inspection in Taylor's Trading Post in Boulderville, Adams uh, County in Colorado in more than 30 from in more than 30 years ago now to now in January 10th, 2010. I mean, they discovered that the store's owner could not properly account for more than 3,000 guns that had been bought or sold during the previous three years. And extended it, after an extended investigation, ATF concluded that 168 firearms were missing from the store's inventory. Um, so based on the regulations we have now, I say that um, we, need, we, need, um, we need more inventory checks because obviously if you can account for um, three years of inventory and each check is supposed to be once a year. How long ago have they not checked him? Um, moving to my secondary point two, background checks should be performed on firearms business employees. So from, um, from the Department of Justice, on, from unfrequently asked questions was, is an employee certificate of eligibility required for every employee? And the answer was no. Each firearms dealer determines which employees, if any, need a COE. However, there are many local laws and regulations that require a COE. Um, what is an employee certificate of eligibility? Um, the employee certificate of eligibility is issued to persons who apply for a COE as employees licensed California firearms dealer and are found to be lawfully eligible to possess firearms. A person who has the existing 
or, uh, or non-employee COE may be associated, associated with firearms dealer by submission of COE report. Um, nine people in Long Island have been accused of illegally selling assault weapons that had been modified to appear that they were no longer semi-automatic. These, um, these four store owners and five employees of the stores have been arrested and charged. This was found on NBC um, and to, uh, article from 2011. Um, so if these, if so all, any of these um, employees did not have background checks and, and the um, empl employers did not require them, then they could, this is probably the reason why um, um, they, they went to the um, black market. Um, moving on to my secondary claim three, the ammunition sales and firearms stores should be re recorded in California. Um, the Cal I found on ammunition regulation in California, law center to prevent gun violence, that California does not require a license for the sale of ammunition. It doesn't require a license to purchase ammunition. It does not require records kept of the sale of long gun ammunition, and it doesn't require safe storage in the home. So, um, criminal background checks connected to individuals purchasing ammunition in the city of Los Angeles in, uh, in April, May 2004, 2.6% um, of ammunition purchasers had a prior fe felony conviction and another condition that prohibited them from possessing ammunition. During the study period, prohibited possessors purchased 10,050 pounds rounds of ammunition in Los Angeles. And I say in conclusion, that inventory checks do not occur as often as necessary. Um, background checks are not performed on firearms business employees, or should be performed on business employees, and ammunition sales are not recorded as they should be. Thank you. Save it all for the end. <laughs>